everyone welcome to our detailing channel uh, in this video I will show you products and uh, my approach to cars that they have been coated uh, how to remove dirt general dirt from a car safely and effectively uh, obviously there is few things we have to consider like we don't want to use too strong products uh, to don't harm the coating uh, also we want to remove the dirt effectively because if we start to rub on the dirt over the body will cause uh, new swirl marks uh, this car I had in for coating a couple of months ago uh, from the owner I know that it hasn't been washed for about two months uh, so first of all we need to do pre-wash on the car if the car was much dirtier than that I will rinse it off first and then I will apply the uh, snow foam uh, in this case like the car is quite dirty but like, I, the snow foam I'm going to use will manage with that dirt uh, if the car was washed weekly I would recommend uh, neutral pH snow foam uh, I have let's say here we have ADBL Yeti or ADBL Yeti pair. these foams are neutral pH uh, so they do not cause any negative effect for coatings, waxes so this would be my approach if I was washing car every two weeks if it was my own car I'd be washing with them uh, but because there is so much dirt these foams might not be effective enough to get rid of two months old dirt so for that I will use alkaline uh, ADBL alkaline snow foam this foam is a uh, stronger foam uh, as a concentrate it has about 12 pH uh, when we dilute it 1 to 10 because then the pH drops to about 11 10 and a half 11 so now I'm going to apply the snow foam I have, I have it ready here uh, and I'm going to leave it for about five seven minutes uh, that's enough time to to penetrate the dirt and then the car will be ready to rinse off So it's about six minutes since I applied the snow foam. Now I'm going to rinse it. Uh, I start rinsing from the bottom. However, the jazz is directed down. So because some people say if you start from the bottom, you're dragging up the door uh, up. But in this case, that totally doesn't happen. Doing it this way, I have full control on, on the sections I, I've already rinsed. Uh, if we start from the top, the water will run down, will run the, the foam. We won't be able to see really uh, what places we have hit with the power washer. This way we have full control, so we can see how effective it is. Then obviously I'm going to rinse it up from the top, uh, just give a quick rinse and then the car will be ready for the next stage. So this is our pre-wash done. The car, the car is clean. There's no, there's no road film. Uh, so as you can see, the alkaline snow foam is very effective foam. It does the job. Uh, it doesn't uh, kill the coating, but like over time, if we were using it weekly, it could bite the coating bit by bit. So we would shorten down the durability of the coating. So if we wash the car weekly, I would recommend neutral pH snow foam, for example, Yeti, Yeti pair or similar. Uh, alkaline foam only if we have very dirty car and we need to make sure that the dirt is got rid of before we do contact wash. Uh, Yeti, Yeti pair will manage with one, two weeks old dirt, same way as this one will manage with the two months dirt. Uh, so now I'm going to clean the wheels. For wheels I will use two products, uh, Vampire Light, ADBL Vampire Light 
and iron rubber cleaner. shampoo if the car was is worse regularly uh, behavior of coating is really good we can use neutral pH shampoo so in this case I, I be using uh, ADBL snowball it's pH neutral has good clean properties uh, for what it is uh, it's fully safe for coatings wax as you see now but in this case I'm gonna show you so as you can see the top parts they have good hydrophobic properties still all looks fine but the lower parts of the car they look kind of dead uh, some people might even think that there is no coating anymore uh, even though the coating is still fresh uh, this down this is down to so-called uh, clogging up the coatings this is the result of the paint that hasn't been washed for a long time also lime causes uh, that effect as well so what we need to do we need to use product that is uh, dedicated for this purpose for unclogging coatings and the product we have for that uh, is ADBL Tiny uh, this is a shampoo that is dedicated for deep cleaning of coatings uh, it's fully safe for coatings the pH of this shampoo is just below uh, neutral is about 6 so it's still in very safe margin uh, this shampoo can be used also on waxes it's safe for for any waxes sealants coatings uh, and that's what i'm going to use uh, in this case and i'm just going to show you the water behavior before i use the tiny uh, and i show you after so we'll see what it actually does So the best practice for washing car safely is having two buckets. Uh, one of the buckets is for clean water that will be rinsing our meat uh, in after each panel. The second one is for shampoo. Uh, we also need wash meat. Uh, I don't recommend brushes or sponges. Wash meats are the safest, uh, good quality wash meat. They last for a long time. Now I'm going to foam up the shampoo. So now I'm ready for washing. Uh, also a few tips. It's good to have second wash meat for the lower parts of the car. We can use it also on wheels. Uh, this is the reason that we, we don't want to contaminate our main meat that we're using on the body. Uh, obviously, washing we start from the top and we work our way down, uh, rinsing the meat after each panel, each bigger panel or maybe two smaller panels. You're the night sky trying to make me see your stars. The dark gets only now I see violet. Uh, and another little tip when we wash in the car the meat should stay clean if we see any dirt on the meat that means that our pre-war wasn't effective 
and then in that case we obviously drag in the door over the body like in this case you can see that the meat is clean so we're absolutely fine night sky the car contact washed uh, now I'm going to rinse it off and I'll show you the difference between the beating between before and after So as, as you could see, the hydrophobic proper properties are restored. Uh, the shampoo doesn't doesn't have any hydrophobic properties on its own. It doesn't give any hydrophobic. If you use it on a car that hasn't any protection, there there be no no beating from it. Uh, but like it's a great product for 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 this purpose. I'm going to rinse off the car now, and then I'll show you other things we can do. So the car is uh, washed now, uh, obviously we need to dry it because if we don't, especially if you use uh, tap water uh, that contains lots of lime, you're going to have uh, water marks. So in this case I'm using uh, works drying towel, I actually have similar towels from OCD detailing, they're very good, they take water, they're straight away. Can't see the ground, can we stop this gravity? Yeah. So the car is washed now and dry. Uh, as you've seen, I brought back the hydrophobic properties to it because the bottom of the car was clogged up. Uh, can we do anything more to the car for to improve our maintenance? Obviously we can. Uh, I'm going to use ceramic quick detailer from ADBL. Uh, product like that, first of all, removes water spots. If, if we use using lime water, we're gonna leave some residue of water on it anyways. Uh, so using quick detailer helps us to get rid of them. This also build up, builds up tiny layer of additional protection for the paint, for the coating. So it's well, well worth to use product like this every even every couple of months we don't need to use it every time we wash the car but like every couple of months if we use it this will extend the lifetime of the coating uh, so like the product like that is very easy to use basically one two three shots on panel like this and just spread it out with one cloth and buff it with second cloth. Doesn't take much effort, just a couple of 10, 15 minutes for a car. This size is plenty. All we need to do is just watch with the weather with not leaving streaks on the paint. But this product actually uh, wipes off very easy. Oh, <laughs> oh,
So this is everything in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful for some of you, especially for anybody who's starting off with uh, detailing or uh, who has a car that has been ceramic coated and you perform the maintenance by yourself. Uh, well, basically the key of, of uh, good maintenance is good pre-wash to make sure that we, we don't leave any dirt and we do not scrub the dirt over the body with our wash meat. Uh, using good quality wash with uh, microfiber clothes, making sure that they're always clean. Uh, that's big thing in, in the maintenance. Uh, products, as you've seen there, I hope I described them good enough so we, you know why I use this product, why I use that product, when I would use other products. Uh, so that's, that's basically it. Uh, if you like my channel or the videos, uh, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe my channel and hopefully see you on the next video.